Jeffrey said, Lavelle, in my nine years on this earth, <laughs> one thing I, I have learned, if you stand your ground and talk to your parents like an adult, they have no other way but to treat you like an adult. I guarantee you, if you do exactly like I did, step oh. to your mama and stand your ground. Step to your mama and stand she your ground. She has no other way but to respect you as an adult. <laughs> Jeffrey, you scared me, you know. <laughs> I need your toys back. You tripping on my head now. <laughs> Hello, sillies. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. Ashley. And Ashley, <laughs> this is more Lavelle Crawford because we were recently introduced to him. You yes. guys told us more. You guys more, love more, him, mm, so we're going to do quite a few for him. Yeah, yeah. You guys sent us more suggestions and we're going to check them out right now, actually. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. It helps out the channel a lot. And this one is, what, what is this? Your mama? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I'm your mama's boy. Oh, both of my boys uh, are mama's boys. Yeah, yeah. Especially my youngest. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's see what this is about. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm a mama's boy. My mama took care of me and my sisters. She raised us the right way. She took care of us. She ain't put, bring no strange men in the house. You know what I'm saying? We knew their names. She introduced them. <laughs> this is your Uncle Larry. I said, you know, I'd be like, I thought we, you only had three brothers. Shut up. It's your Uncle Larry. <laughs> you know, and, she, and she had our back, man. When my mama got a better job, she took, she moved us out the hood. I mean, moved us to the suburb. And that's a big change from the hood when you got, you know, alarms going off, eviction notices, busting bottles on the street, to sunshine and squirrels. <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> Neighborhood <laughs> watch, but it's squirrels. Maybe squirrels. squirrels. <laughs> and, uh, neighborhood watch. Watch. <laughs> community meeting. You ain't had no community meetings in the hood. Community meeting in the hood when the police and the ambulance on your street and everybody come out like, what happened down there? At <laughs> Pearl House. I don't know, girl, but I heard a gunshot. <laughs> but we moved into the suburb. It was a change, man. You know, cause, and I had met this little white kid named Jack Jeffrey, man. And I walked over. I went up in his house. And th th this day, I learned something new. I walked up in his house. I said, hey, Jeffrey, let's go upstairs and play with some of your toys. He said, okay, well, right away. So we're going upstairs to play with some of his toys. And all of a sudden, his mother came out the kitchen and said, hold it right there, mister. Uh -uh. Before you move another muscle, I need you to go upstairs and I need you to clean that room and I mean clean it pronto. I was like, oh, white mamas ain't no different than black mama. <laughs> I said, well, Jeffrey, it looks like you in trouble. I better go. I'm going to go home till you get your stuff together. Jeffrey, before I knew it, moved me out the way and stepped up on his mama like he was Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> Looked her dead in her eye and said, look here, lady. <laughs> As you can see, I have company. <laughs> and right now, we're going upstairs to play with some of my toys and some of them are missing. I think Lavelle took some, but I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> And we're going to play for a few hours. And when we get through, I may, and I mean this, I may clean up my room afterwards. But right now, we need some cookies and some lemonade. Pronto! Pronto! Oh! I'm looking at this powerful little white boy like, Run, Jeffrey, run! <laughs> your mama about to cut your head off! Right? But Jeffrey did, stood his ground, and his mama did something I ain't never seen in my life. She went, oh, and just ran in the kitchen. <laughs> Jeffrey proceeded up the stairs, and I said, excuse me, Mr. Jeffrey, sir. <laughs> He said, what is it, Lavelle? I said, do you have leukemia? <laughs> he said, Lavelle, why would you ask such a silly question like that? I said, well, 
you just stood right in front of me and told your mama that you have company. And right now, you're going upstairs to play with some of your toys. And by the way, Jeffrey, I ain't taking none of your toys. You can stop lying on me. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, Jeffrey looked at me and said something I ain't never heard in my life. He looked at me and said, Pish posh, Lavelle. Pish posh. Pish posh. I'm looking at my white friends like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I'm 40 years old. I still don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> Apparently, it means, listen, little fat Negro, I'm about to teach you something. <laughs> Jeffrey said, Lavelle, in my nine years on this earth, <laughs> one thing I have learned. If you stand your ground and talk to your parents like an adult, they have no other way but to treat you like an adult. I guarantee you, if you do exactly like I did, step oh. to your mama and stand your ground. Step to your mama and stand she your ground. She has no other way but to respect you as an adult. <laughs> Jeffrey, you scared me, you know. <laughs> I need your toys back. You tripping on my head now. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. He he is so good, and and clearly has has a lot of uh, jokes uh, yeah. relating to his mom, right? In his pocket, but you can relate. To you it can too. relate to everything he says. Everything, although I don't think I had any friends that could just handle. I don't have any friends that would. That, could do, could that had like ever that? treated their parents like no. No, I don't think I've ever either. No. I mean, my best friend, her mom, just let us do everything and anything. She didn't really. Were care. you nine though? Um. Yeah. See. So. I was pretty close to nine. Well. Yeah. <laughs> well. I was a little bit older, but yeah. Lavelle is too funny. We absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Leave a like rating. Thank you guys, and we will see you in the next one. Till then, well, goodbye. Bye. I keep going up.